story makers and thank you for joining us in the puffin library of made up things. I'm Rosie and you are all right on time. This World Book Day we have invited a dream team of amazing authors and illustrators to share their story making secrets and we are going to exercise your imaginations with some brand new story making missions. Before we begin, let's get our bookish brains in gear. Can you match any of these made up things to the stories that they belong to? Let's have 10 seconds on the countdown clock. Did you manage to get any? I think I might have got one. Anyway, don't forget your Story Maker Mission Packs can be downloaded on the Puffin School's website with all of the classroom challenges, games and activities for you to enjoy after the show. Teachers, you can tweet us at Puffin Books to show us how your class are taking part. Coming up. Today we are meeting Priscilla Monte, author of the Dream Team series, who's going to share how she tackled the task of choosing characters for Jazz Santos's football team, the Bramrock Stars. And you will all receive a special class challenge. Nathan Bryan and Dapo Adiola are going to give us a sneak peek of their special World Book Day book, Rocket Rules. And don't miss Dapo's top tips to help you take on a drawing challenge. But first, it's time to invite authors Greg James and Chris Smith into the Puffin Library. They're going to share how they write together to create their latest book. In The Great Dream Robbery, Maya Caton can visit other people's dreams. Thanks to her dad, Professor Dexter's invention, the dream machine. So, if we want to invite Greg and Chris into the library, we need to become dream machines. Let's test if we can all blink together at exactly the same time. Not yet, after three. Ready? One, two, three. Oh! Wow! That's some strong blinking. It really is. They're really good at blinking. Hello, story makers! Look at the story makers! Hello there. Hello there. My name is Greg James, that is Chris Smith. Hello. And we are the authors of The Great Dream Robbery. That's an amazing title, Greg. Um, what's that book all about? It sounds brilliant, I want to read it now. Imagine you could jump into anybody's dream. Ooh. That's quite fun. That's what Maya Clayton can do with the help of her amazing dad. Professor Dexter Clayton. You'll have to read the story to uh, read all the fun. But if you could jump into any dream, mm. what dream would you jump into? Well, I'd like to jump into a fun dream because some dreams are quite boring, aren't they? You know, sometimes says, someone, someone says to you, I had a dream last night, I just couldn't find my socks. Yeah. And uh, I mean, that's a boring dream to jump into. In the book, we do have a boring dream guarantee. There will be no boring dreams in the book. No. It's very, very important. There are dreams about llamas, there are dreams about bananas mm -hmm. and unicorns. Penguins playing football. Penguins playing football, yeah. uh, seals that turn into telephones, all kind of <laughs> mad stuff goes on. And at the beginning of the story, Maya is, uh, is very sad because her dad is asleep and he can't wake up. But then a boy turns up in Maya's dream that she's never met before in her life and says that she can rescue her dad who's been trapped inside dreams. Dramatic. Now, the cheese machine forms a very big part of the story. Chris, let's explain cheese. Okay, we should explain cheese because, of course, if you have cheese before you go to sleep, then you have incredible dreams. Mm. But cheese in The Great Dream Robbery is the code name for the amazing machine that Professor Dexter invented, which allows his daughter Maya to travel through dreams. So, cheese stands for Clayton Hypnagogic energy enhancing sensor ellipse. Wow, amazing. And that's what enables Maya to travel into a dream and try and rescue her dad. Um, so we wanted to come up with a really kind of fun, imaginative story because 
Over the last couple of years, like you probably, we were feeling a bit sad, we were kind of locked down, everything was a bit scary, uh, and we use writing stories to kind of write ourselves happy. Writing stories is a great, fun thing to do with your brain. It's even more fun, arguably, than reading them. Yeah. We love writing together because if one of us gets stuck, I can go, Chris, can I borrow your funny brain, please? Yes, I'm not using it. And also, if we both get stuck, we have great methods to kickstart our imagination. Oh, should we show them? Bring it in. Please make an appropriate noise, an ooh, for the Wheel of Dreams. Ooh. ooh. Wheel of Dreams. And we've written loads of fun words on this to help us get our stories going. And when we pull the lever, who knows where the story will go? How fantastic would it be if we could all have our own dream machines to spark our story-making powers? Maybe we do, and we can just use our imaginations. In your Story Maker Mission Packs, you will receive a set of Dream Machine tokens with story prompts for characters, settings, and situations, like this pretty serious situation. What if humans actually were turning into cats all over the world? What sort of story would that be? Yep, that would be a catastrophe. You can use the tokens to start your story or play in pairs or groups. Shall we challenge Greg and Chris to a one minute story? If you think we should, put your hand in the sky and say, I. One minute on the clock, please. Okay, what do you want to start with? I'll start with the character. So once upon a time there was a... Boring household object that became real. Okay, once upon a time there was a uh, toilet with eyes and it lived upon or in a... Setting yep. stranded on a desert island. Okay, so the toilet with eyes was stranded on a desert island because it had been in a ship with lots of other toilets and there was a shipwreck because it all flushed at the same time and the boat sank. Situation! Yeah. The toilet is a mind reader. Okay, it could read everyone's minds, but there was nothing to read apart from the minds of fish in the sea around the <laughs> island. And all they were thinking was like, wow, I'm really thirsty. This water's so salty. New character. Yeah. A, a dog is now in charge of everything. Brilliant. So a dog appeared on a speedboat and said, <laughs> uh, I'm now in charge of this island. You're no use to me because dogs don't use toilets. I just use trees. <laughs> I think that's a great story. Uh, the end. Oh, the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Send in the stories you make using your dream machine tokens to puffinschools at penguinrandomhouse.co.uk. You can write them or record them as a voice note. We want to see how inventive you can be. Five creative story makers will win signed copies of The Great Dream Robbery. Ooh, T's and C's apply and can be found on the Puffin Schools website. Picture book hero Rocket landed on our shelves just a few years ago and has been helping make the world a better place ever since. First, by encouraging us all to look up. Then, clean up. And now, Rocket's creators Nathan Bryan and Dapo Adiola are back with a brand new book, especially for World Book Day. Rocket Rules gives us 10 little ways to think big. Watch closely as we're going to need your inspirational ideas and incredible illustrations to help make a big difference. If I say look, can you say up? Look. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, story, Hi story makers. makers. My name is Nathan Bryan and I am the writer of Rocket Rules. And my name is Dapo Adiola and I'm the illustrator of the picture book Rocket Rules. And that is coming to you very soon and it is our special one pound World Book Day book. Isn't it Daps? <laughs> yes it is and just to warm you up today we are going to be giving you a sneak peek at three, that's right, three of Rocket's Rules. Ooh, I'm excited. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's go. Okay. Rocket's rules help her think big. And this book has 10 little ways that you two can make a difference to your day. So, shall we start with rule one? Rule one, wake up, then jump, dance, and fly out of bed. 
That's how I wake up, Daps. I'm always dancing with my tea in my hand, in my pajamas, radio on. How are you waking up in the morning? Uh, my rule one would be a get more sleep and if I'm waking up, if I'm waking up in the morning, it will be more like crawl, roll and fall out of bed no, to be No, 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 you need to be doing the moves in the morning, get your yeah, blood pumping. It's a bit too much for me, mate. Oh, it's fine, a little bit too much for fine. me. Fine. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach you some moves soon. And you know, our girl Rocket, she loves facts, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah. And well, I've been doing some fact finding myself, I'll have you know. Yeah. And my favourite fact I've just found out is that whale vomit is really expensive. And so I might start collecting whale vomit myself. Whale vomit? Yeah. That's not where I saw that going. Well, you know, I'd like okay. to surprise you. What about you? What sort of facts you got for me? Well, I've been learning facts about magic. Ooh. Ooh. Did you know Go on. Yeah, that the earliest recorded incidents of magic yeah. date back to ancient Rome, yeah. ancient Greece, and ancient, ancient Egypt? Well, I, I did not know that. Ah, wow. That's a fact for you, mate. That's magic. Rule two, look up. Make sure you don't miss any of the wonderful things in the world. And don't let something amazing whiz past you. That is a super important rule. There are so many amazing things in this world that when you look up, that you can be inspired by, especially as story makers. So you know what you gotta do? Look up. Rule number three, read up. Even if you find reading hard, take your time. You can find out all about the world from books. There are loads of different types of books. You know, we've got graphic novels, uh, comic books, uh, picture books, chapter books. There's a book for everyone. And um, exactly what Dapo said, there is a whole world of books for you to discover. And there are six more rules in Rocket Rules, which you can get right now for World Book Day. Uh-huh, and it's only a quid. Okay, story makers, scratch your heads. Can you think about one small change that you could make that could make a really big difference? It might be a really big difference to someone or something that you care about. It could be something small you could do that would make a really big difference to you. It might even be a small change that could help the entire planet. We want you to write your pledges and draw your ideas to inspire others. You might want to research some facts just like Rocketwood. You have all you need in your story maker mission packs. Dapo and Nathan, what are your pledges going to be? Do you know what would make a big, big difference to me? Go on. I'm going to pledge to get serious about my sleep. Oh. I need more sleep. Yes, you should. Mm. Did you know that sleeping and dreaming and creativity are actually linked? Like, I get some of my best ideas while I'm dreaming. Wow, I did not know that. That's a very good fact. And do you know what I'm going to pledge to do? As a writer, I think I am going to read more books. Yeah, it's really important. And did you know reading helps you be more empathetic and builds up empathy because you read about other people's lives and you discover about who they are and you care for their stories. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Good. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Later, you're going to write your pledges and draw your ideas. Okay, so pencils at the ready. We're going to practice. So in your story makers mission pack, you should get one of these. It's a little worksheet that's going to help you with today's activity. Okay. There's a little space in the top corner here to write your pledge and a nice little space to draw your idea. Okay. Right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write my pledge down. Okay. And my pledge is to get more sleep. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. There we go. Get more sleep. That's my pledge, right? Can't wait to see what yours is. Right, next thing we're gonna do is we're going to draw our ideas. And my idea, I mean, my pledge is get more sleep. So my idea is going to be a drawing of me getting more sleep, right? Here we go. So I'm gonna show you one that I did earlier. There we go. And then I'm gonna talk you through some tips as to how you can get your own drawing done to look just like you. Right, so the first thing I did was um, I made sure I drew my 
head correctly, right? Um, my head is a little bit of an oval shape. You can see me here drawing that. Got my ears in. And when you draw your head, um, apart from the head shape, one thing that you need to kind of focus on that makes you you is a defining feature. And a defining feature for me that makes me who I am is this little mohawk on top of my head. So I've got that in there. There we go. And ooh, the next thing that I did, because I'm sleeping, I drew myself with my mouth wide open, snoring. So that's another defining feature for my pledge. Got myself my mouth wide open, snoring. There we go. And also, my facial hair is another defining feature. So let's put that in there as well. Uh, there we go. Nice and fuzzy. Uh, oh, and also because I'm sleeping, I've got my eyes closed as well. So eyes closed. And put my nose in, my eyebrows, and the rest of my hair. Right, so uh, where am I? I'm at my desk. Yeah, so we're going to put in my desk and my chair as well because that's where I often fall asleep at my desk not in my bed like normal people uh, there we go just gonna put in my chair so your place can be anywhere that's specific to your pledge if it's like your bedroom school wherever but for me it's my desk and uh, let's see, oh, I've also got my feet up as well. You know, very comfortable position to sleep in, feet up. Got some cozy socks on. And I have my iPad as well because, you know, I often fall asleep at my desk while I'm working. I should probably go to bed, to be honest, now thinking about it. All right. And that. It's got to add little legs to my chair. And that is a nice drawing of me asleep at my desk. There you go. There we go. And I threw in some Z's as well because, you know, I'm snoring. Right? Brilliant. Can't wait to see what yours looks like. We can't wait to see pictures of your pledges. Teachers, tag us at Puffin Books or email puffinschools at penguinrandomhouse.co.uk. It's time for your World Book Day class challenge. If you're ready, as a class, put your hand in the air and say, yeah! My name is Priscilla Mante, the author of the Dream Team series. So in the first book, Jazz Santos versus the World, Jazz uses the three Ps, passion, perseverance, and practice to follow her dreams and to overcome the obstacles she faces. Luckily, she wasn't working alone. Jazz belongs to the Bram Rock stars who all bring their unique talents to the team. Jazz is brave, bold and creative. She's the left striker and the captain of the Bram Rock Stars. Charlie is determined and dramatic and she wants to be on the West End. When she's older, she plays left back. Steph is very caring and responsible and she looks out for the others and she plays right mid. Tally is a strategic thinker with excellent attention to detail and she's a bit of a perfectionist. She plays as right striker. Naomi is super smart. She is great at the STEM subjects and she plays right mid. There's Layla, who is the optimist who sees sparkle and glitter in the worst of situations and she plays left mid. There's Ali, who is 
sparky and fiery and she is the goalkeeper. Thanks Priscilla. And today we have one huge team of story makers. So we have a game that we can all play. Let's create our own World Book Day dream teams. We've made some character cards with some puffin players that you can pick from and space for a five-a-side team of your own. Who would you pick? Choose wisely. As Priscilla said, pick your characters like players. Think about the characteristics they would bring and how that might play out on the pitch, just like a story. Priscilla, how would Jazz Santos score? Jazz would score for teamwork, I would say 10 out of 10, that is her strength. She is so good at bringing out the strengths in her teammates. For leadership, Jazz would score a 9 out of 10. I think she's really good at being the captain of the Bramwell Stars, but sometimes she's a bit um, scared to make the tough decisions. Jazz will score 10 out of 10 for determination because she will continue to keep going despite the obstacles that she faces. For energy, Jazz scores 8 out of 10. She's got so much of it, she's bursting with it, but sometimes she gets quite tired. Nathan, what about Rocket? Oh, Rocket would score. She'd score big. She'd have loads of energy, she'd bring loads of passion, and she'd be full of ideas to inspire her team to look up and see the ball. Okay, so Rocket would score for teamwork. I'm gonna give her a five. She's a bit of a lone wolf. She gets on a mission and she knows what she wants. For leadership, 10. She is a big leader. She'd be the captain of the team, calling all the shots. For determination, I'm going to give her another 10 again. Rocket never ever gives up and that's one of her best qualities. For energy, I'm going to give her a 9. I can't quite give her a 10. She's usually running all around the place, but sometimes she might burn out. So we'll give her a 9. I'm wondering about Professor Dexter. Chris? So Professor Dexter is a genius dream scientist. Imagine the team talk he'd give you at half time. If he was your manager, you'd all go to sleep and you could dream how the second half of the game was going to go. Would it end in laughter or disaster? Your pitch could be invaded by llamas and bananas. Would you win the game? Would you all fall through to the other side of the world because you dreamt it? I don't know. It'd be fun though. So scores for Professor Dexter. Teamwork, eight out of 10, easy. He's a brilliant team leader. Oh, and leadership. So he scores 10 out of 10 for leadership. Determination, he invented an incredible piece of technology that enables you to go in dreams. You've got to be pretty determined to be a scientist. Seven out of 10, but energy, I think he scores quite low because he goes to sleep at work a lot. So energy, three out of 10. That's three. Let's have two more so we've got a five-a-side team. Can you turn to your talk partner and tell them a character that you would choose for your World Book Day dream team? Think of a snappy sentence to explain why you've chosen your character. Tracy Beaker, team captain perhaps. With fierce and feisty Tracy in charge, your team would be bound to score. What about little bad man? He wouldn't be just running around the pitch. He would wrap his way into scoring a winning goal. Why don't you have a class debate 
to decide the characters for your World Book Day dream team. And then you can have a go creating your own Fireside teams using our dream team character card templates. All of today's games and activities are inside your Story Maker Mission Packs, downloadable from the Puffin Schools website. We love to see your ideas and creations, so tell your teachers to send them to puffinschools at penguinrandomhouse.co.uk with Story Maker Show in the subject line. We will see you again in September for your Back to School Story Maker Show with brand new missions and a new exciting lineup of authors and illustrators. Can we say a massive thank you to our fellow story makers? Thank you, Greg James and Chris Smith. Oh, bye, story makers. Bye, story makers. Thank you, Dapo Adiola and Nathan Bryan. Thank you so much, story makers. See you soon. Taps. Oh, thanks, story makers. Bye. Bye. And thank you, Priscilla Monte. Thank you. Bye. And a gigantic air high five to you, story makers. Which story making mission are you excited to start first? Remember to dream big. Happy World Book Day, everyone.